Saturday, July the 22nd, and the rugby fans are queuing outside Auckland's Eden Park. Today, France meets New Zealand in the first test match of their current tour. As always, there are those who make themselves at home on the footpaths. And those who get on with the knitting. And others who catch up on their light reading. Over 60,000 people pack the park and a roar goes up as Wilson Winneray and Francois Monclar lead their teams onto the field. It's been raining in Auckland, but the ground is firm in most places. The Governor-General, Lord Cobham, comes out to meet the Tricolours and the All Blacks. Also wishing the New Zealanders well is Marcel Laurent, manager of the French team. For New Zealand, Don Clark kicks off with a breeze behind him. It's a long kick and the ball goes over Vanier's head and away back into touch. Drop out 25. This man has come late, but he's in time to see the ball come out to Connor, to Wolfe, to Mackay. And with just one minute of play gone, the All Blacks have their first three points. What a start to the game. Don Clark takes the kick. And the score is France nil, New Zealand five. Watt throws in and both packs are after that ball. France moves the play right up to New Zealand's goal line. The ball is out to Lacroix. Clark takes Lacroix and the ball is kicked along the ground 10 yards inside the All Blacks 25. Soleil has it to Alba Ladeo, to Andre Boniface who kicks into touch. Both teams are throwing that ball around today and only a few minutes have gone in the first spell as Alba Ladeo tries a pot. And gets it, France 3, New Zealand 5. The Frenchmen are looking for more points as they come kicking the ball through to New Zealand's goal line. It's taken under the post by O'Sullivan to Wolf, and Wolf touches it down. Yes, madam, something is going to happen here as the ball comes out to Alba Ladeo. And he's done it again. France is in the lead by six points to five. Fifteen minutes gone and the All Blacks are attacking with driving forward play. Yates has the ball, throws it out. It's beautifully intercepted there by Guy Boniface. To Crossed. To Calvo and the French winger races away down along the line and kicks into touch. They're lining out and Watt throws in for New Zealand. The ball is brought down and they ruck. Out it comes to Connor, who kicks a long one upfield when it's taken by Vanier. He kicks for touch and finds it. Both teams are showing flashes of sparkling play, and both teams are working hard for those all-important tries. Defence is good on both sides. From this scrum, the ball goes to Connor, who's racing away. Connor kicks ahead. It's over the top of Vanier. They're behind the French line, and the French force the ball down. Into this line out, Watt throws a long one. They ruck for it. Lacroix has the ball, doesn't get far with it, and the forwards have it now. The ball is back to Alba Ladeo, who boots it downfield. They're all running after it. Clark nearly has it there, but the ball bounces into touch. Again, the All Blacks are trying to knock at the French front door, and the big forwards are bulldozing along. Yates has the ball. Roncoul tackles him. Down they go into the mud. The referee calls for a scrub. The ball is out to Connor, to Watt, and he kicks into touch. Play moves across the field and they're scrumming on the grandstand side. The ball goes to Wolf. He passes outside and it's intercepted by Andre Boniface, who kicks downfield. Don Clark takes the ball and he's bowled over by Roncoul. Watt gets it back there and he finds touch. Roncoul throws in and the ball is brought down by Winneray. Out to Yates who puts up a high one. The ball is bouncing. Colin Meads has it and goes plowing through, juggling the ball in one hand. He throws it to Brown who can't take it. But there's been a knock on and the referee brings them back. At half time the score stands at France 6, New Zealand 5. You can guarantee that both teams will go all out in the second half. The Frenchmen have a very slender lead. There'll be fireworks. The crowd's excited as the Frenchmen kick off. The 
down go the scrums in the first minute of play. There may be a telepathic link between halfback Connor and fullback Clark. Out comes the ball straight along to the mighty boot and... It's a goal, a magnificent 40-yard pot. New Zealand leading now eight points to six, but there are still 38 minutes to play. This French team may yet cross the All Blacks goal line. The ball is picked up by Wolf. To Brown. To Watt. Back to Brown. He fends beautifully and then centre kicks. It's taken by Cross and there'll be a scrum. Both packs are pushing hard today and both back lines are handling well. Out to Wolf. He kicks across field. Calvo goes down with it and they're up on the French line. Play settles down again and Mackay throws in. Lacroix to Albaladeo to Andre Boniface who kicks up field and into touch. The crowd's applauding as O'Sullivan intercepts a pass. And scores New Zealand's second try. Clark converts and with 17 minutes to go, the score is France 6, New Zealand 13. Nothing can daunt this French team and they're determined to make up the difference in points. The ball goes to Albaladeo. To Roncoul. He kicks ahead and Wolf gets it. The French forwards are in on him there and I'll have you for breakfast, Mr. Wolf, says Dominic. They're in a scrum and the ball is out to Lacroix, to Albaladeo, to Andre Boniface. He throws it back neatly to Brother Guy and it's kicked downfield. The Frenchmen are racing after it. They've got the pace and the will to cross that line. it is picking the ball up but he's rolled into touch there's not much time to go the Frenchmen are really pushing things along and time after time they try to crash the All Blacks defense it's like trying to break down a brick wall and every time New Zealand smothers the attack out to Albaladeo Yates brings him down Kai kicks the ball away. Lacroix has it. Out to Roncoul, and it's a penalty to New Zealand. The last few minutes of play, and they're really working in there. Throughout the match, the visitors have had their movements broken up by the solid New Zealand defence, and the New Zealanders have crossed the French line twice. The backs are still throwing it round, but it's the All Blacks game. At the final whistle, the score is France six points from two drop goals, New Zealand 13 points from a drop goal and two converted tries. The All Blacks are one test up with two more to play in the 1961 International Series.